What's up, guys? Today we're going to be ranking the Western Conference to see who the, the top teams are and to see who the bottom teams are. Um, I'm not going to do it in order. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to start with the lower lower tiers of the team, like the Jazz, the Spurs. We're going to start out with the lower tiers, and then we're going to work our way up to the, you know, the higher tier teams. All right, so the first team that we have at 15, I'm going Utah Jazz. Um, there's nothing to say. If your best player is Colin Sexton or even... Lori Merkinen, you're not gonna be a very good team. Um, that's that's all you had to say about the Jazz. They're in the running for a victory, you know. Even though that's a terrible place for him to go, yeah, they're in, they're trying to get him. The next team, ooh, the next team. Hold on, I'm gonna reset that, and fix that. Next team is the Spurs at 14. Keldon Johnson. That's all I can say. Um, they have Greg Popovich as their coach. They're gonna at least get some wins, maybe off of coaching. Um, that's really all. Yako Pertle, Doug McDermott. I've seen him win in uh, Indiana, so, <laughs> you know, that's where, that's where I have him at 14. And then, you know, all right, here we go. We got 13. Man, I think 13 is the Thunder. Yeah, I think 13 is the Thunder. They're also trying to get Victor. I, I, like, I could say the Spurs or the Thunder are, like, interchangeable. I don't know about the Jazz as so much, such, you know. Because the Jazz don't have no one. They, the Thunder at least have, like, Shea and Giddy. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the Thunder sit Shea. There's rumors that they're going to trade Shea, but I don't believe that's happening. So I have them at 13. And the next team at 12. Oh, man. Next team at 12, I have... Oh, man. This is a hard one because I don't know if I want to do Portland or I should do Sacramento. Or Sacramento, yeah. Oh, never mind. Rockets. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. That's me. So, yeah. All right. The Rockets. I got them at 12. Um, Nothing crazy. You got Jalen Green. Maybe we see like a I, – I believe we're going to see a huge improvement in Jalen Green. And Jabari Smith isn't a bad, you know, backup. And then Kevin Porter Jr., who just got paid, I could see him coming out and being something crazy. Or not something crazy, but, you know, Kevin Porter Jr. with a little more attitude, you know. Um Maybe he's a better point guard this year. So, yeah, I believe they're going to be better than the Thunder and the rest of them. Now, at number 11, I have the Sacramento Kings. It's the Kings. They just can't. They can't get it. I mean, Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox, I just don't believe, is a as good as people believe he is. Um, you, I mean, you got Sabonis, but that that's not really getting you too much. Harrison Barnes, that's not getting you too much. I believe... The next team is better than them, and uh, like the point guard play, even like the wing play, and then maybe even center a little bit, but not so much. Um, is, that's gonna be the Portland Trailblazers at ten. They're going at ten. Um, you get Dame back. Hopefully, he's healthy this season. I assume he's gonna be healthy. You know, um, you have rookies like Shaden Sharp. I'm assuming he's coming off the bench. You got Anthony Simons, Jeremy Grant, Nurkic, I like. That's actually a good team, but it's not something like, oh my goodness, what? It's nothing ridiculous. So like that's that's why I have to put them at ten. And then the next team is the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh no, nope, 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 nope. Here I'm, move, I'm gonna move them down real quick. You know, move them down because yeah, they're not number one <laughs> this year. Um, it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Even though that's my team, you know, it hurts me to put them at nine, a playing spot. It's kind of disgusting. But I, I don't see no improvement with uh, Russell Westbrook. Um, I guess our bench is a little deeper this year. It looks like it is with, like, Kendrick Nunn and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, um, and maybe Westbrook comes off the bench, but it's still the Lakers, and we just can't seem to really, f you know, fit it all together. It's still, like... It's hard to believe. Like, if LeBron goes down, we're out of this. AD, I don't see him really stepping up and taking that LeBron role yet. He's still, you know, probably going to struggle this year after a season like last year. So, um, I have the Lakers at 9. And then number 8, I have Memphis. I have the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, I feel like Jaron Jackson being gone for, a, like, a good bit of the beginning of the season is going to put them back a little bit. Because, you know, we saw the team win without Jaw because they had Jaron and other players. But they don't have Jaron now, and that's, like, a big part of their defense, you know. They're not the best defensive team, but Jaron makes them a good defensive team, you know. 
Um, and at number seven, this is where it starts to get a little tough um, because you have teams like, you know, the, the Timberwolves, the Clippers, the Warriors, you know, all these teams. These are like the top end teams. You know, there's always going to be, you know, you can't you can't get, you know, the top like six without playing, no playing spots. A team has to make the plan out of these teams. And I really believe it is going to be Phoenix. I think it's going to be Phoenix this year. Um, you know, with DeAndre Ayton looking un unhappy, he he's definitely not happy. They can, they can, like, flip it, try to flip the narrative and everything, but it's just not. Like, he's not happy at all. He, he looks miserable. Um, yeah, we need to get De'Aaron out of there. I wish he would have went to the Pacers, but obviously that didn't happen. happen. Um, you know, I could see a Chris Paul a regression. Um, they lose Jay Crowder. They, you know, their depth is terrible. Like, I, I would might even say the Lakers have a little better depth than the Suns. The, the Lakers just can't fit it in there. Or actually, yeah, that that's really what it is. Um, but that that's all I got to say about them. Now, number six, number six, I believe number six is the Dallas Mavericks. One one word I can say, Luca. That's all I got to say, Luca. You know, Luca's gonna come in there. I, I wouldn't be surprised he wins the MVP this year. You know, it's just gonna be him. He he can carry a team to six. I think he did that actually this past season. Um, carried them to six. I think maybe. I'm trying to think. Who did they put? Yeah, I think they were carried to six. Maybe maybe a little higher or maybe a little lower. Um, but yeah, I can see Luca doing it. Um, even though with the loss of Jalen Brunson, you know that's gonna be a big hurt. Um, you brought in Christian Wood. Tim, are you bring? Or, yeah, Christian Wood. You got Tim Hardaway coming back, and then you brought in Javale McGee, who's a really good center for his age and for his amount of money. So that's a plus. So now onto the top five. Top five now. Top five. All right. This is this is gonna you know a couple of people might be getting a little upset about this one, but um. Oh, no, 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 no. Minnesota Timberwolves at five. Um, I believe they're, they're they're probably going to be like a really good regular season uh, team, you know, not even in the plan. Um, but I can see where Cat playing power forward. Um, it just doesn't look good at all. It doesn't. I'm not, I'm not too faithful in that. And if he has to put on his effort on the defensive end, trying to chase around a power forward or something like that, even a small forward or wing in general, he's just not going to. It's, it might look bad for Cat this year. I'm not going to lie. But, um, you know, you have Rudy Gobert, which is a, a regular season juggernaut. So I, I can see them being number five. And number four, number four, number four, I have the New Orleans Pelicans. They bring back Zion. They look really good without Zion. That's one thing. They had a terrible start last year. I thought they were going to be the bottom. I thought they were going to be top or uh, 15th in the Western Conference. Come to find out, they made the playoffs. Um, but I can see them going crazy in the regular season, really, or the whole entire next season, um, make, even making a, maybe a playoff run, you know. But bringing back Zion, Brandon Ingram looking good. You got Herb, great defense. You got Val, great defense. You brought back Larry Nance. You got such, all these players. It, it, it's crazy that Devontae Graham, who just won, what, what did he win, uh, most improved, not too long ago, that he or was in the running for most improved, that he's now your third string after averaging what, like fifteen two seasons ago. Like, yeah, that's kind of crazy. So that that's a big plus. Um, they got some depth over there, and I really like that team. I can see that team going a little deep in the playoffs, not winning the finals, but going pretty deep. And now top three right here. This is what this is where it matters, man. This is where it matters. I have Golden State. At number three, you know, I don't think Golden State's going to come in here trying to win every single regular season game. They're definitely not. They're not. They've been in this too long to be doing that. So um, I think they're going to go to number three. You know, they, 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 it's the Warriors, man. One, two, or three, it don't really matter to them. They're going to win. They, they're they just going to win. You know, they, they got that fight in them. So I don't think that that third or that three defines them so much. But, um, yeah, that's where I have them at. And now it's Denver and L.A. Denver and L.A. You know, both teams bringing back pieces. But I think the pieces that L.A. brings back only puts them out of two. Even though it's Kawhi Leonard. Um, 
I don't believe Kawhi plays even more than 60 games this season. He's not that type of player. He'll probably play like 50, but those 50 will be very impactful. Um, you got Paul George, Norman Powell, Zubak. You got Reggie, John Wall. Like, that's a really deep, that's a crazy deep team. Um, I, it's ridiculous. I would be scared to play them. Um, so that's why I think that's this is another team where the number two doesn't define them at all. They're still a ridiculous team. So that makes me put Denver at number one. Denver at number one, man. Hey, Jokic might. Hey, there's a possibility Jokic could win a third MVP, and that would be bizarre. That would be very crazy. He did it before LeBron and everything. Um, but, yeah, I can see Jokic win uh, you know, another MVP, especially with Michael Porter Jr. You got Jamal Murray. You got KCP. Man, that's a really deep team. Um, Denver is going to be a really good team this year. I'm just ready for this NBA season, man. Let me know what you like about this video. Uh, maybe eat some things you would change. Maybe some, you know, some facts I don't know, you know. If you could, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace.